Hello and welcome back to our Supreme Ruler 2030 Let's Play Poorly. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be doing tutorial three. We did basic concepts, research and economy, and now we're doing commerce and diplomacy. Well, I got a ping noise. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Learning about managing commerce and diplomacy. All right, getting our first ally, then trading with them. Press accept to continue. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a bit of a frog in my throat there. Okay, uh, rebuild the Commonwealth. Obtain an alliance agreement with the United Kingdom. All right, so let's see. We don't need to see that. Don't need to see that. Don't need to see that. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go over here. We're going to find the United Kingdom there in, well, I guess, Northern Europe. Yeah, there we go. United Kingdom. And what do we need to do? Just obtain an alliance agreement. Okay. Uh, negotiate. There we go. Uh, what would that look like? Uh, am I not reading that? Let's see. Offer them a formal alliance treaty. Okay. Formal alliance. There it is. Yay, and they're going to do that. Excellent. Done. D done? Not done. Ah, here we go. I'm pausing this real quick. Oh, that's a world market offer. That's not what I... Uh, let's accept that. And let's accept that too. There we go. Okay, that just took them a minute. I guess it took them a while to kind of read the treaty and, you know, get it figured out. Okay. Overseas trading. Get a hundred ton daily of rubber from the UK through ongoing trades. Okay, so set up a trade to receive at least 500 tons of rubber spread over seven days. All right, so this is something that I that we don't really see much of in Galactic Ruler. Well, I haven't seen it yet because I don't have a lot of alliances with anybody. But uh, the 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 trades over time is, um, and I think you can do it in Galactic Ruler. I just don't generally do that. I know that it happens with the trade relations stuff set up. But okay, so no, that's not. I don't want Canada. I want United Kingdom. There we go. Why, why am I still on Canada? Oh, I'm, the Can I'm Canada. I'm here on the left. I'm dumb, dumb. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to here. We're going to go to rubber. And we're switching it to seven days. And then we want 500. Is that 500 per day? Is that how that works? Or is that 500 total? All right, let me see if I can read that and see what that says. Spread over. Okay, so that's going that's going to be that's how that's that's basically it's saying There we go. It's 500 tons total, but it's going to take 7 days to do it. All right, let's go. Yeah. Ah, that's a lot. I don't know how much we actually have. Let's do that much. Wait. What did they wait? Uh, hang on now. Get. What? We want to re receive. Oh, so they're sending that. And then we have to figure out. Coal. Okay, so we're sending coal. All right. No. Oh, dear. Okay, so this, yeah, if I if I get even a little bit tweaked on my thing, this tooltip stuff gets all a little goofy. All right, let's try this again. Rubber. Seven days. Five hundred. Oh, I already did that, so we'll clear that. And then over here, it's supposed to be coal, I guess. Um, equalize offer with coal. There we go. And. Let's hope that works. Uh, 
Done. All right. Successful. Set trade targets to export uranium and import rubber. Okay, so this is uh, going to be similar to Galactic Ruler, but I think it's a little bit more detailed. So that's going to be interesting. All right, so we have to clear that. Okay, so indicate that we want to export uranium. I think that, uh, where is it? There we go. Okay, I think this is right. My way to, there we go. Okay, go to resources, select the desired resource. Oh, in here. Oh, okay. So this this is the this is the version. This is the thing that you see in Galactic Ruler. Yeah. Okay. So that's. Uh, I don't need to worry about the bulk of the auto sales. I wonder if that just gets automatically adjusted based on this. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. So we want to export uranium. There. I'm gonna keep myself moving along here. Export uranium, and where's my rubber? Over there. We're going to import. How much do we want to import? Uh, two, two and a half years worth. Okay, that's done. Send resource status treaty offer to the United States. All right. That's going to be pretty easy. I know how to do that. So, oh, no, come over here. And we're going to say United States. Treaty offer. And what is that called? It was uh, resource status. There. So that will allow us to see what they have. They can see what we have. Everybody can figure out what they want to trade with each other. I imagine that, that all that stuff is really useful in a um, in a multiplayer game, which I've never played and I don't. That's not my my jam. So, um, but I imagine that's probably pretty cool. Okay, automating trades from other countries. This is going to be something new for me. I think. Uh, to a degree, yeah, because these are trades directly. These are not using a world market. Or no, it is a world market. Okay. Sometimes an advantage can be gained by trading di uh, directly with the region. There we go. Uh, which, of course, I could do uh, in Galactic Ruler. Just um, It's a colony to, to, to faction as far as I've travel, uh, played so far. So uh, This could, again, be done directly through diplom diplomatic negotiations, but we do negotiations, but we can use our minister to automate this. Okay, this is something I'm not familiar with. By setting the priority trade relations for the cabinet minister in state, you are allowing your minister to offer and accept trade deals with other nations. Okay, you'll simply be notified that the diplomatic trade was successful. Set the priority of trade. Oh, that, okay, no, that is actually, that is exactly the same as in Galactic Ruler now because that got added in, I think. Or, well, it didn't necessarily get added in, I just got notified that it was there. Uh, Okay, set the priority of trade relations so that we can focus on other aspects. So that is, it's not a more, it's not a discrete sort of uh, country to country thing. Um, it is, in fact, more general. So trade relations, yes, there we go. Done. Okay, and acquire the tech advanced digital HUDs. By trading with your, uh, ooh, that should say allies, I think. It's just not, it's too long, maybe? Not sure. Uh, all right. Since we're allied with the UK, let's offer them some money for one of the technologies we need. Advanced digital HUDs in warfare category. Okay, see if we can get it for less. So uh, that's going to be a negotiation with the United Kingdom. And we want... Is it military? You, mm, what did he say? Oh God, why why is my brain so tiny? Uh, there it is, advanced digital huts. And then we're going to match it with money. Offering 2.5, they want 2.5. There we go, what was it they say it was worth? Oh. See if you can get it for less than that. Well, I did not. I did not, in fact, see if I could get it for less than that. I could have tried, but I didn't. All right, these are unrelated. Done. Okay. Yeah, I probably could have tried to, like, dial it down just a smidge after I did the match or figure something out like that. Okay. Strategic unit trading. World Market also acts as an arms dealer. Yeah, that's great. Uh, selling units can be a good source of income. We have a surplus of older M2 105mm guns. Let's sell one of those on the market 
They are in the class of artillery. Okay, so let's see how we do this. Go to Defense Department, select Purchase Units from the World Market, and then we're going to sell the... Oh, dear. What are we selling? M2105s. Okay, selling the M2105s. Oh, I guess this is their individual ones. These are not groups. These are not categories. These are actual individual units. Okay. So we're going to send that one over and accept. Done. All right. That's a cool mechanic. I like that. I like being able to do that. Uh, increase stock of ore to over 2 million tons. So we want to bulk purchase ore from the market. And how much do we have? Uh, we have two. Okay, so we, we really do need basically two million tons. All right. Is that it? We just just leave it like that? I think we leave it like that until the turn ticks over, right? Until the day ticks over. So that's a single purchase, and then we could auto purchase based on a price. Buy as needed up until it, the price gets to 556. It won't do it under under up oh, now 576. Okay. So what's uh, what's happening here? What? 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 What's it asking me to do? It's not asking me to do anything. What? What is happening here? All right. I did the thing, right? Once you set the quantity and price you're willing to pay, it may take a few days to purchase. Okay, all right. So I don't need to stress. Yeah, these help messages that are popping up during the tutorial are not great. They're, they they are a little confusing. Some of them are a little confusing. I'm not sure if they all need to be showing up. Yeah, all right, well. And these are all a bunch of diplomatic offers coming in. Non-tradable text. Okay, why is this taking so long? There! Nope. Yeah, it didn't go. Wow, this is really taking a while, isn't it? Wait a minute. Increase stop of order over 2 million tons. Yeah, I did the uh, max month. What does that mean? Oh, is that the max? Oh. I might have to do like this. <laughs> yeah, because they're not going to pay it, buy it that cheap. Production cost, market price. Ah, market. There it is. Yeah. Okay, now we need to get. The oh, okay. I see how that's working. We're buying bits by bit. Oh, brilliant. Okay, I didn't realize it did this. So it's buying from different places and then dropping the the stock that it needs to fill the order that I originally gave. Okay, that's smart. I like that. Okay, but we're not actually going to get there, are we? Let's get up a little higher. Yeah, because it was using and some other things were happening. Yeah, see these numbers, I mean, I, I don't anticipate that this is a glitch or anything. I mean, I'm sure it's just, it's because of stock and usage and so forth that the bulk number here is going down faster than the stock level is going up. Because of usage and other things, I would imagine. So I need to pop this back up again. And we're buying it at whatever price they offer, but the price is actually considerably lower than what I'm allowing, so that'll be fine. Territorial incursion? I don't know what that means. I mean, I do know what that means, but it's not related to this tutorial. Okay. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on now. Keep going up, please. Go up. Up, up, up.
I wonder if adding, uh, increasing that number there increases the pressure, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a mechanic here where it basically it makes me more urgently want to get stuff. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. View, oh, let me slow you down here. There we go. View the map filter for uranium. Okay. So if I go, oh dear, map filters. Load the mini map. Controls is okay. Yeah, now the, the, because the icons are unfamiliar to me, I'm just going to take it a minute. Is that that one? There it is. Uranium. There. Okay. Build supply depot near the uranium mines. Okay, now that's a question. Let's see. Um, the infrastructure condition of our country is represented as a level of supply, right? Both military and industrial facilities depend on this for movement of goods. Supply spreads naturally from each source, but gets weaker as it gets farther away. Roads and rails reduce the supply decay. And then you can build a supply depot uh, to increase the effectiveness. Yeah, okay. So that is... Um, that's something, again, this happens in Galactic Ruler as well. Adding supply depots kind of helps you extend out. So, And then having high supply at a production facility does increase the efficiency of that. So, all right. 311, 311.93. I don't really... How do I... How do I know exactly where I'm supposed to... Why are you doing the supply model thing again? Why are you doing that? Don't want to do that. Uh... Do, 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 what do I, how do I identify my spots? Where does it, does it know where I need to do this? Oh, up there. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. I knew that there was a little waypoint thing. And I just couldn't remember what it was supposed to look like. And that's just added in by the, by the tutorial. So we need to put it right there. So we're going to go ahead and build a, what is that? Is it industrial? Probably listed in, yeah, there's. Done. And that will no doubt increase uh, the supply. Okay, so use engineers to build in a remote area. Within our military are a number of unit types with specific special abilities. Engineering units, for example, allow us to begin construction of a military complex, even if no supply reaches that location. Okay. Engineers will also increase the rate of construction of facilities in their location or adjacent locations. When building faster, they consume resources faster, so the total cost, cost remains the same. Use your engineer at 27592 to start construction of a military complex. Okay. I have one, though. Where is he? He's over here. All right. So let me see exactly. So he starts the construction? Is that... Why, why are we showing this? There we go. Uh, I guess I guess I build it here, right? Right. I just build it like regular. Is that how this works? So military complex. Okay. I think that's how that works. So I build military complex there. Oh yeah. Okay. So he's just ch chilling and he's gonna aid construction. Boom. Done. Build a uranium mine. Two more uranium mines. Okay. When building facilities for those resources which require deposits on the map, the map filter for that resource will be made active, so it's automatic. That's nice. All right. So we're going to build uranium mines. Now, I know it's over here now, right? It's, a, it's something over here. Okay. We don't need that. Oh, that was on. Okay. So... Let's see, how do, uh, where was this? There was a, facility controls, that's right, there it is. Which I feel like really belongs over here the way, where it used to be. This is an odd place to put it, but I think the devs are aware that this is uh, suboptimal. Uh, all right, so uh, I can either do two just like automated ones where the governor wants me to put it, or the minister, but I'm going to do it this way. All right, these are all filled out, so let's go ahead and put one there. Oh, did it just... It just did it. I didn't even need to build two of them. Okay. Lock uranium from the minister controls. Ooh, I know how to do that. Boom. And increase our stock to more than 2 million tons. 
Okay, so we're going to be producing. And we want to sell 0% of our soft surplus production, right? Yeah, simplest to lock out the uranium controls entirely. With controls locked, we can produce a large quantity and even import extra to drive up market prices. Once the price has risen enough and market availability has dropped, we can resell our stock for profit. Okay. When you encounter other regions attempting to manipulate prices, diplomatic trades for products is a good way to circumvent this price fixing. Okay, I like that. So let's go ahead and do some bulk imports. It's going to cost us a... A lot of money there. Let's do let's let's do like a million. And let's speed ourselves up here a little bit. Yeah, so I think what will happen then, I mean, I could even set this trade target here, I think. And the main thing is that the minister won't futz with it, right? I think, and I could, I mean, if I'm wrong, that's, I've been wrong in Galactic Ruler too. Um, but I'm assuming that the trade target isn't specifically intended to pressure the minister. It's intended to just simply be the thing and that the minister can then it, uh, manipulate these based on priorities. So, well, we're almost there. Yeah, because we're buying a bunch, so. There we go. We've completed chapter three. Excellent. All right. So we'll head back to the main screen here, and uh, there we go. Yeah, so that's a good, uh, good episode. When we come back, we will continue with our Peru run, and then the episode after that, we'll do the final tutorial. And then beyond that, we'll continue uh, just playing the game and being terrible at it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.